you think? Wondering if I just talked for 20 minutes without it actually recording. Hmm. Alright guys, so this is going to be a short video. I just spoke for like 20 or 25 minutes to myself and the recording wasn't rolling. So, it's uh, started at 10.30. It's now 5 to 11. But I uh, just want to say hello. It's uh, Monday, uh, September 21st, 2020. Day's over. Uh, it was a good day. Worked. Grant had school. Grant's learning multiplication today. Uh, after school, Grant helped me cut the grass, or he cut the grass. He didn't help me. He's, it's, he took it over. He's doing a good job. Grant cut the grass. Uh, he actually did the backyard over lunch and did um, the front yard after school. And then he actually helped me with uh, trimming bushes. So we were able to trim three bushes. We did two bigger ones. Well, all three of them were, were the bigger bushes kind of in the front of the house. There's quite a bit more. Um, so I'm not sure when we'll get to finish them, but I promised him 20 bucks if he helps me because it's a, it's a big project. Um, I got everything packed up in the garage, all my tools, uh, my reloading stuff. It's all packed away. I'm going to get it put away in the storage for the uh, foreseeable future, break this table down, cut up, dispose this wood, whatever I need to do. And um, I was working on a 3D printed part for the Baofeng UV5R. Uh, let me see if I can find it. I talked about this in the other video, but it was uh, recording stopped. So this is a special 3D printed Molly clip. This flat plate bolts onto the back of the radio, and these legs kind of support it, go underneath it. And there's a little crack in there, but that's where like the Molly webbing would go through. Uh, it's it's nice, but it's not really gonna work. You can see I just have like some Allen threaded uh, bolts in there. Um, kind of the problem is I would have to have whatever Molly I wanted on in front of me and bolt it onto that Molly and there's no like quick disconnect um it's probably because i'm not using the right hardware but i don't i don't know this is what i had also you can't charge it um when it's in this uh configuration so charging pins are on the bottom and it kind of like you can see the legs kind of like locks into there and blocks the charger so it would have to be removed every time you want to charge it anyway and this thing, this radio just came with, it's not on there now, but it comes with a little belt clip that bolts in there, screws in there. So um, that little bolt, that little clip would be easier, way easier than dicking around with putting it and installing it and uninstalling it every time to just charge it and whatever. So uh, it's okay. I mean, I've definitely printed many ideas that, you know, look like great ideas and end up not being. Um, also, for target practice, I was able to 3D print, I'll, I'll show you a nice one first, but these things, and they're, they're huge. You can see compared to my hand how big it is. I was able to print, um, oh geez, what was it, like almost three of them on one spool of, of um, filament, one new spool. So that's how big they are. So um, let me show you kind of how this works. But it's a it's a target um, stand, so to speak. So you have a board like this. This flat piece would go on there like that. And it would actually, you could screw it in. There's um, screw holes for everything. Screw it to that. So this would be like the feet. And then you would take another piece and it would go up like a vertical upright and another cross beam that would go across to connect to the other side of it. And yeah, I would get more of these out and set it all up now, but it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm tired. Um, so this one, um, same thing. It was just me using up all of the old filament that I had laying around. So uh, you guys have seen all the projects I've worked on over the last year or so. 
Um, the silver was from the cyber truck. The green was from the green flower stems that I printed for gifts and for um, Jessica's mom. The gray, I can't remember what I used the gray for. But uh, yeah, so I printed four of them. And like I said, it'll hold at least two um, targets. I mean, these are beefy. These are full 2x4s. So I just figured, why not? Because I have a bunch of 2x4s um, left over from the other project. And Target stands aren't cheap anyway. So yeah, it was like 20 bucks for that roll of filament. But um, those the, the Target stands that you can buy are expensive. So this makes it easy where I can just take a screw gun, like a, a drill, out with me to the range. Um, get all the pieces break broken down like in the back of my car or whatever and then just shoot them together real quick and staple um, Cardboard or whatever to the uprights and we're off to the races. So My own stand-up targets or whatever so I can make like the human uh, silhouettes or whatever Should be good should be pretty good um, so that's it. That was this, uh, you guys got the five minute version instead of like the 20 or 25 minute version, but that's okay. The other version was me just blabbering on and on because I'm so exhausted. But uh, I do have some pictures to edit, uh, some photos of Jess and some photos from Luke's family. And uh, I haven't even really looked at them, so I uh, might spend a couple minutes doing that or I might lay down and pass the fuck out. So see you tomorrow.